slight demonstration before we go ahead. I met all the pieces you would see in the showroom to the back of your wheel. This is what it looks like in the cross stage when it is done from the earth. Okay, this is what the clay looks like. All right? See what it looks like? Alright. So what we normally do is get one portion of this clay and add it with two portions of water in a barn on the outside. Maybe go ahead and sieve it down to it clay. After saving it down to liquid, we will take out all the impurities and stuff, all the free roots. So after we go <laughs> through that process, as I said, we will normally take out all the tree roots and bits of fibers, the rocks and so on. And then we would actually place it in branches where we will allow it actually dry where the sun will evaporate the water from the clay. Okay? We'd actually get it to a thick, creamy liquid, as you said, like an ice cream. And we strain it, <laughs> taking out all the impurities. And then, after about, say, two to three weeks, eventually it will get to this stage, which is actually soft, smooth, and it's like plastic door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we will take it onto the potter's wheel. And as I say, we will clay. shape it. It's clay. As you say, put it into an ice cream cone like this. Oh, yes. And then eventually we'll get to a bowl and such. Okay, so just watch carefully. What I'm going to do is just actually, as I said, center it. See, I'm getting it like an ice cream cone. And then I will take it back down. And I will actually get it into a bowl shape, as you say. Watch carefully. I'll actually go ahead, center the clay. He's making ice cream. And then I will go ahead. A bowl. Watch it. Oh. Yeah, I will actually just place my two big fingers in the center to open it up, as you can see. So watch carefully because I'm going ahead now that it is actually centered. I'm going up and open it up now. So watch it opening up now. Watch it. So we normally just go ahead and just open it. You see it like, like a bowl now? Yeah. Okay, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a small plant pot. So I'm going to place my fingers in the center here where I will actually make a hole just for drainage and then I will go ahead now and I will take out the shape put it into a different shape now as you can see sweet and then I will eventually go ahead and stretch it and make it a bit taller so if you watch carefully you will see it will be getting taller okay the height that you want my pot to be. So now that I got the height, I will concentrate on the shape of the pot. Alright, so I will make it now, I will open it up, so I will start from the bottom of my pot, where I will concentrate on the shape. take it to the potter's wheel again. This time I would actually turn it upside it down. It would be in a stage which is known as leather hard. Leather hard? Yeah, upside down. And we will shape the bottom nice and smooth. It would be in a 
Stay dirty is more like leather artist. hard, and the reason we say leather hard, it won't be too soft nor too She's hard. An artist. So we'll just use a tool and give it a smooth surface to the bottom of the pot. And then we will allow it to actually dry, or as we would say, cure. Say approximately for about say two to three weeks before taking it to the pocket kiln for frying. Okay. water from any pot. Yes. Watch carefully. So I will just stop my wheel now, now that my pot is finished and I can go ahead just leave it simple like this or else I can just go ahead just do a small decoration to the top which is known as crimping. Yeah when you're actually It's called printing, I just put a little pattern to the top here, so a little decoration. And then I will just use this tool, just a piece of string, where we just cut along the edge of my pot when I make my mark, and just cut it right through. And then I will just lift my pot, and here you have a plant pot. Wow! Very good. Yes, sir.